In the previous video of the session, we have got the field information of a class. Now we are all set to get the method information of a class. Namaste everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the session 17 of Java and Wave, Reflection API in Java. In this video, we will learn how to get the method information of a class. The method get methods of java.lang.class used to get the method information. The get methods is a public method of java.lang.class and the get methods return a method array. The method is a type present in java.lang.reflect and the get methods return a reference of an array of type method. So the get methods return public methods of the class and public methods of its superclass. Here in this case, we have three Java files, base.java, example.java and here it is use.java. In base.java, we have the class base. The class base contains a method high which returns float. The value returned by the method high is 2.2 and the method high is a public method. Then after we have the method hello which returns nothing. We have the empty body of the method hello and the method hello returns void. After that we have example.java. Example.java contains a class example which is an abstract class. The example.java also extends the class base. So whatever the methods in the class base, these two default methods will be inherited to the class example. And the class example is also an abstract class. Here the method high one is an abstract method of the class example. The method high one returns a string and throws exception. After that we have the method hello one which returns void. And we have an empty body of the method hello one. Open use.java. And here we are importing two classes, the class modifier and the class method from the package java.lang.reflect. Then we have the class use. In the class use, we have the method mean. And inside the method mean, we are accessing the class variable of the class example. The reference to class.class .class object, which stores the properties of the class example, is stored into the variable class of the class example. And that reference is stored into the reference variable C of type class. After that, we are calling the method get methods by using the reference variable C. So all the public methods of the class example and all the public methods of the parent classes of the class example, either direct parent or indirect parent in the multi-level inheritance relationship. All the public methods of all those parent classes of the class example gets arranged into a method array and reference to that method array returned by the method get methods. The reference of that method array returned by the method get methods will be stored into the reference variable mtht of type method array. The type method itself belongs to the package java.lang.reflect. In this for loop, we are iterating through all those methods, all those elements of the method array. And for each method m, we are calling the method get name. And the method name gets stored into the reference variable name of type string. Similarly, here we are getting the method type. Method type means method's return type. M dot get return type returns the return type of a method. And that return type gets converted to a string as get name method. So here we are returning the return type of the method as a string. And reference to that string will be stored into the reference variable type of type string. After that, by using the reference variable M of type method, we are calling get modifiers method. We already have seen in the previous videos, the get modifiers belong to class.class, .class, the get modifiers belong to field.class, and the get modifiers also belong to method.class. Similar to previous get modifiers method, the get modifiers method of the class method also returns integer belong to different modifiers. So according to current modifier of the method, whose reference is stored into the reference variable m, the get modifiers return an integer. That integer will be stored into the reference variable i of type integer. After that again, we need to pass the integer i to the two string method of the class modifier. And that will return the string containing all the modifiers of the given method in a single string. Reference to that single string will be stored into the reference variable modifier of type string. Here we are trying to get the parameter types and exception types. The parameter type of a method can be a class or can be a primitive variable. But as we will see in the later session of Java and Web wrapper class in Java, in that session we will see that 
a primitive variable can be converted to a class. So here the get parameter types return reference to an array of classes. All the parameters of the method will be arranged as array of classes and reference to that array of classes will be returned by get parameter types method. If the parameter of the method is of primitive type, then that primitive type first will be converted into the class type using wrapper class. Then all the parameters of the method will be arranged as a class array. Reference to that class array will be returned by the method get parameter types will be stored into the reference variable CLS. Then after we are calling the method get exception types by using the reference variable n. We know that all the exceptions in Java are classes. So all the exceptions thrown by the particular method will be arranged as various elements of a class array and reference to that class array will be returned by get exception types method. Finally here we are printing the name of the method, type of the method, modifiers of the method and then we are printing various parameter types used in the parentheses of the method. We are printing the parameters type of the given method one by one. Then after we are printing the exception types and we are printing the various exception classes thrown by the method one by one. After that we are leaving three new lines here to get the difference between two method properties. So let's compile this code Java C base.java example.java and use.java. It compiles fine. Now run it. Java use. It runs fine and see what is the output. You can check here. The first method is high one. The return type of the method is java.lang.string and the modifier is public and abstract. Parameters are integer and float. Let's check the high one. You can check here the method high one parameters integer and float throws exception and the modifiers are public and abstract. Throws the exception java.lang.exception. After that we have the method high and we do not have any parameter type any exception type. Return type is float and modifier is public. And you can check here we have the three methods with names wait. These three methods have been inherited from java.lang.object to the class base. So these three methods are also the parts of the class example. After that you can check here the method equals, the method to string, the method has code, the method get class, the method notify and the method notify all. All these methods have been inherited from java.lang.object to the class base and from the class base they got inherited to the class example and finally they are the parts of the class example that's how we are getting the output here. Another method is get declared methods of java.lang.class. The get declared methods is a public method of the class java.lang.class and the get declared methods return a method array. The get declared methods return all methods of the class but does not return any method of its super class. So in this case the method get declared methods will return the information about the method hi1 and the information about the method hello1. Let's use the method get declared methods in our code. Open use.java and write here instead of get methods write here get declared methods d e c l a r e d get declared methods. Clear the screen, compile these three codes, compiles fine, now run it, java huge, it runs fine but at this time we are getting only declared methods in the class example, hi1 and hello1. That's all for this video guys, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe my channel on YouTube, like my page on Facebook and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.